Hello there, Sagittarius. Welcome to your September reading. I can't believe it's September already. Um, so let me just relay some information for you, and then we'll pull out the spread and go into this the reading for this month. Um, first off, as I was saying, um, I don't know where the time went. I feel like some of you are thinking to yourself, not just the time. Where did all the money go? Where did all the money I make? Where did it all go? Where did all my, uh, where did I spend all of my earnings and all of my savings? And I feel like this energy is coming in to kind of force you to re-examine, um, you know, the, the whole concept of saving up for a rainy day, knowing that we can't really coast through life. We have to have a better game plan and we have to be a little bit conservative and also a little bit watchful when it comes to our spending as well as being having that, that um, you know, disposable income just in case some things happen. So I feel like for some of you, you're going to be dealing with this energy for this month in terms of like, you know, sitting down and uh, looking at the ledger, looking at your bookkeeping practices and looking at money that has been leaving your hands in large quantities or finding ways where financial leakages have been happening. And it, it's been like caught, um, you're kind of like caught unaware so I feel some of you physically looking extensively over your um, bank accounts, your bank statement, ev making sure that making sure that you don't have additional charges, or making sure that um, the money is allocated to the right thing. So I feel like financial, you know, like a reworking of your financial situation and re redoing your financial budget I feel like that's going to be in store for some of you and I also feel you're extra cautious from now until the December time frame because some of you are planning to make a major major move a major trip even taking a major trip possibly like overseas and so you're feeling like you're feeling the need to you know want to save up a little bit of money um, I'm also seeing here the second message is um, I feel like there might be some health issues, okay? Um, I do see head and teeth, okay? So head, sinus congestion, sinus infection, headaches, migraines, uh, teeth issue. Um, I feel like if you have younger children, you might need to bring them in for some type of preventative, you know, dental care. They might have issues when it comes to like an ear infection. You take them to the uh, doctor and they find out it's not an ear infection, but it's like uh, pressure in the teeth causing other symptoms. And I feel like for yourself as well, getting a checkup is something that is high priority for you for this month because I'm seeing like, you know, if not treated, it can lead down the line to like abscesses. And I also sense as well, like just uh, I'm seeing a lot of, head issues so migraines as well and that can also be trigger for some of you if you have like um you know wisdom teeth that have not been extracted i feel like even if you're in your 20s and 30s and they haven't been extracted i feel like that might be uh the source of pain or a source of fever or a source of like inflammation for some of you guys things flaring up pretty much and um I'm also sensing here is the third message. Um, I feel like some of you have start have started a new job, have gotten a new job, have um, taken on an offer for a new job. What they are saying here is that I feel for some of you, the salary that you're getting paid, it seems like it's not all that. Based on all the skills that you bring to the table, it feels like it's a little bit of a step down from what you could be making. However, I feel that you are really going to love the work that you do. There's like purpose, there's passion in, in the work that you do. And I also feel like because you have a lot of skills and you're qualified for the job, um, I also feel like the job itself is not going to be difficult, okay? And you're going to navigate the energy just fine. You're not going to be dealing with complicated um, people or complicated situations where you feel like you might not, not know what to do. So there's a lot of potential here with this job. And then for others, I feel like it might even be a pay increase, a salary increase, a promotion, and things like that coming into the picture for many of you. And you might have um, heard about it last month and it's coming in where you start to assume the new position this month. 
And so things are really starting to, you know, turn around for the better. And things are really looking up for many, many of you. Um, the last message that I'm going to leave this off with here and um, while we get the cards all out. Um, I'm sensing there is a partner that you're dealing with who is a little bit demanding. So um, it's not saying, you know, whether or not this is bad or good. Demanding is rarely good. However, I feel like the person that you're dealing with, the romantic partner, is um, very, very intelligent. And uh, he or she knows how to get what they want out of you. And that basically means, you know, they, they might distort the truth a little bit. They might try to manipulate the situation in their favor to get whatever it is that they want out of you. Like they, they, they know how to, you know, work the energy, basically. They're very intelligent. I feel like they're honest and truthful. So that's not really the problem. I just feel, I just feel like you're going to be very busy this month. And so the person that you come to for emotional support is your relationship partner. And, you know, rather than just being in the moment to listen to you and, and to be kind of like the, the sounding board, I feel like they're interjecting, they're interrupting, and they're giving a lot of advice unsolicited. So that's going to be something that I feel, you know, you, you're going to have to contend with. But at the same time, I feel, I, I feel like, they are getting a little bit frustrated because I feel as if they, you know, like you, you have a lot of things that are happening in your life. And rather than just taking these opportunities and rather than just um, making the most of it, I feel like you have a lot of hesitations about the direction that, that life is taking you. Like it's happening too fast. It's happening all of a sudden. You're not really sure if you're ready or you're not really sure like if it's the right path for you to take right now. So you're looking to them kind of like as that emotional anchor to just bounce ideas off of, to just vent to. And they're, they're, it seems like they're a little bit impatient with you. And so keep in mind, um, you know, the best way to interact with another person is to be very clear and very specific about what you want from them. So if you just want to vent, you need to, you know, state that ahead of time. Do you have 30 minutes? I just want to vent. And then... Likewise, if you need advice or if you need to, you know, get their input, then you can say, hey, do you have 30 minutes? I want to have your input or I would like some advice on this situation so that they know exactly how to respond to you. Okay, that's just a, a really good way overall of getting what you need out of another, um, like out of another person in terms of a social interaction so that both parties understand expectations ahead of time. So I feel... I feel like there is a little bit of um, that energy in the love relationship sector, which I'm going to do your, um, I'm going to pull out your love relationship spread. But I feel like that's going to be just a source of irritation. And so being very clear about your expectations ahead of time is going to ha help you navigate that energy and to not help you kind of understand where they're coming from. Okay. So let me talk first of all a little bit here about this work situation because you know this first spread deals more with like the the bigger things such as work finance career family and all of that and then the second spread deals exclusively with romantic relationships so let me just talk about the new job offer this is usually some type of like a, an offer coming in for an internship an income generating capability a job where you might have to kind of like start at the bottom and work your way up. So I feel like for some of you, there might have been like a promotion coming in. There might have been a new job that was on the offering for you. And this is something that I mentioned earlier. And what it denotes basically is it's a small incremental, you know, a, a slow moving type of energy where if you find yourself in a new job, the salary increase promotions are going to be slow in coming, but there is a lot of room for growth. There's a lot of room for movement. There's a lot of room as well for travel. So, for example, if you're working with a big corporation or if you're working with like a public um, in the public sector, 
you could even be allowed, you know, to be transferred to a different department, to a different state, to a different city later on. So I feel like it is worth investing in this work situation. And I also feel that you are going to have a lot of emotional satisfaction out of the work that you're doing. Um, you come into this month here as the Empress, and the Empress basically is, you know, uh, abundance. Having a lot of opportunities at your disposal, being in a position where you have a lot of skills, where you have a lot of assets, you have a lot to contribute to a company, an organization, or, you know, wherever it is that you're working. You know where your skills lie, and you also know what you are worth. But if this work situation it's not giving you, you know, right off the bat, if it's like, if it requires a lot, like, first of all, training, a little bit of a three month training so that you can do the job. And then, you know, after six months, they're going to give you like a permanent position. And then after you get that permanent position, then you're going to be in a position to um, transfer or even get a promotion or apply for a promotion. So I feel like it has a lot of potential. It requires you starting from, from the bottom. It requires that you start at a level that you feel might be a little bit beneath you. And so they're saying everything's going to be fine because you are really going to be enjoying the work that you do. You will also be able to, I feel for some of you, you're dealing with a lot of people and you're able to help the situation, uh, to make the situation better for them. So honestly, I feel like you are where you're meant to be to be able to help a lot of people and not only to enjoy the work that you're doing, but to help people find the emotional satisfaction and the emotional stability in whatever capacity they're dealing with you as. Okay, so I feel all around the environment looks really, really abundant. We are starting here with the moon card. And the moon card basically indicates a situation where we feel like we don't have all the information. We feel like there are some things um, hidden from us. And we also feel as if we're not really sure which direction to take and which direction to move forward in. So there's a lot of uncertainty. There's also a lot of like lack of clarity, lack of finality, lack of closure as well. And I also feel for many of you, you're... You have made major decisions in the month of um, the past month, August, and you're waiting for things to, to, to play out. And a lot of you have hesitation or reservations about the decisions that you have made. But because you're making these decisions, all of these choices, all of these other options are falling away. And I feel like they need it to fall away for a reason so that you can stop doubting yourself, okay? So this sense of self-doubt is still lingering, but the, the fact that it's the first card in the spread indicates to me residual energy that you're still dealing with from the previous month, which is August. So we have some really big things happening for this um, this in this spread. We have two major arcana cards, and this is basically um, also birth, pregnancy, uh, expanding the family unit, new additions into the family. So I feel like for, for some of you who might be in this position, there is overall a lot of support, people chipping in in the housing environment to help you. And I do see a lot of love, uh, see a lot of love, a lot of support, especially uh, if you are a mother. Um, coming from your children, like they're, they're showing you love, they're giving you a helping hand, they're showing you a lot of appreciation. And then for others, there's like new people being added into the family unit to, to make you feel like this, you know, family reunion, people all coming together in a very beautiful way, okay? Um, I also feel, first of all, we have the card here about travel. So this is um, overall, if you are saving up money, so this is, you know, assessing your financial situation, assessing whether or not it's going to be feasible for you to even contemplate living overseas. You might have family members who are doing that, but they're, they have some financial hangups. They have some things that are not clearing up for them to do that. So in terms of travel, the world resting on top of the hangman, this indicates to me some delays that are going to happen. So you need to get, you know, your financial situation sorted out. You need to get things finalized from your end before this travel arrangement is going to take place. And I feel like if you're thinking, you know, 
I feel like seven months time. So that's going to take us into possibly like the very end of uh, February going into the March, April time frame moving into 20, uh, 2018. I just feel like this is a month for uh, this is a year for you guys 2017 this is a year for you guys to sort out your financial situation to really have a tight rein overall on your budget and to be really aware of how much money you have how much disposable income you have and to sort out your financial situation so if you are due you know if you owe debts if you owe things I feel like some of you are breaking them down and talking to financial institutions even to have some type of a installment plan like a payment um, paying them off in installments so that you can get rid of debt paying down student loans I feel like this is more debt for for many of you it's like hospital bills for example paying back like car loans and things like that things that are a little bit more I want to say like the, the the interest is a little bit higher so I feel like you're going to, this is the year for you to get these areas sorted out so that you know how much you owe, you know how much you make. And I feel many of you are keeping a closer, kind of like a closer, you know, reign on your spending over on your financial situation, which is good. Um, Sagittarius, I feel like you're not good at doing this. And usually it's, it's too tedious for you. It's too detail oriented and it's too tedious. And so you have avoided doing this for a really long time. This is the year for you to get that situation sorted out. Okay. And I, I feel that it looks really good. If you are a combination, especially a uh, fire and air, this is like the last thing that you want to do, but it is the first thing that you absolutely need to focus on. If you have like water in your chart or earth sign in your chart, aside from Sagittarius, then that will help you manage it a lot better. But I feel that some of you, you can't really wing it anymore. You need to be a little bit more, you know, on top of things when it comes to your financial situation, okay? Not that you're in the red, but I do sense that um, money is coming through. It's not like it's not coming in, but I feel like there are things in the past that you still owe that you still need to pay off or that you you still have some type of financial arrangement that needs to be taken care of okay so travel is going to be del delay on account of that on account of some financial hang-ups okay and once again um diagnoses when it comes to health so we have a situation here with the hangman and um the hangman basically means getting a second opinion, getting a, a second look at a situation because we have to look at it from a different perspective. And with the Nine of Swords, this is usually a card that deals heavily with like some type of ache, malice, like um, some type of bodily pain, some type of symptom that you are experiencing that is not creating the space for you to, you know, have restful sleep, uh, sleep all through the night. It's like being woken up because of some pain, something unexpected that that is keeping you from getting restful sleep. So if there are any health issues, um, get them sorted out, get them, you know, get, get checked up, especially getting a second opinion as well. I do feel for many of you, um, they, they mentioned as well, you know, that the whole head, head and throat and especially teeth situation, there's a lot of pressure around the um I, I feel like there's a lot of pressure here around the teeth area inflammation or or something including the head and it can cause a lot of inflammation it can cause fevers it can just uh, disrupt your sleep so you know going to the doctor taking especially if you have new children added into the family especially you know young babies and things like that there's a um, lack of sleep that's happening for you and it's understandable but i feel that it's it would be good for you if they're feverish, if they're sick to, you know, get them checked out. Okay. So that's something a little bit more mundane, but I feel that it's going to be occupying a lot of your thoughts for this month. Um, I'm also feeling as well, you know, this is a major combination here for depression. The moon basically feeling very somber, feeling um, a little bit like feeling like you don't know who to trust and then the nine of swords deals with mental anguish all of the other cards indicates to me that some of you are just ready to start a new phase in your life but these might be the things that are really holding you back that's really preventing you from um, you know living and behaving as if you were this person this uh, love you know 
abundance incarnate so i feel like some of you have some emotional hang-up still that you're still dealing with and it's preventing you from moving on with your life it's not affecting you as heavily i feel because you know you generally bounce back really well but i feel like when you're alone when you're trying to sleep that's when you cycle through past events and you're kind of like kicking yourself i should have said this in that situation why did I do that in that situation? So keep in mind, all of these things, it's normal for us to cycle through them and think about them. But you also want to um, you know, be realistic as well. It's already in the past. Nothing I can say, nothing I can do can really change it. So don't dwell on it and try to move past it, okay? Does that make sense? Because I feel like you guys have a habit of like at night, you're in bed trying to go to sleep and rather than, you know, doing your breathing exercises or meditation or whatever it is that you you do to go to sleep, you think about things and you 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 beat yourself up over it or you you feel like I should have had um I should have, you know, had like a better comeback in that situation. I should have spoken out. So you're beating yourself up over things that you should have done in the past. So you know, try not to let these things eat at you. We all make mistakes, okay? So letting them go is going to be very crucial. And the part, the, the fact that it comes out at the beginning and also at the end of the month, I feel like it's an energy that comes and goes, but it's going to be scattered throughout the month. I want you to be careful about that. When you see those negative thoughts coming through, shake them off, okay? Shake them off and think about something else, uh, especially in your sleep, um, when you're trying to get into your sleep state, okay? Um, so the other t two cards that came into the picture here, we have the Eight of Cups. And this is basically moving back to a situation, trying to work things out, not feeling like you have all the answers that you need. And I feel like this might be coming in, in your work environment, in your work environment, kind of like beating yourself up because you feel like you did something wrong. You feel like you um, made a mistake as it concerns some type of a big work project, some type of a, a negotiation even for some of you. And so you have, you know, spent a lot of time and resources and energy um, I feel like dealing in a specific, like handling a specific client or dealing with a specific situation and now you have to, you know, go back and fix it. So that is also going to be occupying a lot of your time. But I also feel Sagittarius. Just know that, you know, you're on the right path. You're going to get everything that you want, okay? You're going to be able to achieve all the great things that your heart desires. And all it requires is that you focus on the moment don't beat yourself up over things from the past and especially, you know, thinking about like, I should have done this, I should have said that, I should have told this person this, I should have given them, you know, a piece of my mind. So just learn from the past and, and move on with it and don't dwell on it, okay? Um, so I feel like overall things are looking very good. Um, this is a card overall, the Seven of, of Cups, like options are, are kind of like narrowing down, okay? options or the false options are being taken away so what you have left over are the real things okay this is a card overall about um, expectations and reality and so I feel moving forward for this month a lot of reality checks are happening in your life but I feel like for for some of you it's finance related it's forcing you to be really careful about where you're spending your money and being very careful about saving up for a rainy day. For others, I feel like some health issues that needs to be addressed, that needs to be, you know, gotten to the bottom of. So that means going to the doctor, figuring out what's going on, okay? And I also feel as well, for those of you who are, you know, pregnant, congratulations. Um, try to keep yourself very, very stress-free. And I know that's hard to do because, you know, we interact with so many people, right? And they can be a source of stress as well. I feel that you can come to your family for a lot of emotional support. And so keep yourself grounded. Keep yourself, you know, focused this month and don't ruminate over past issues, okay? Keep yourself living in the present moment because we have a lot of good things here, okay? So I'm going to go into your relationship reading here, Sagittarius. I hope that has been helpful for you. So let me see about love relationships.
And forgive me for my makeshift table setup right here. Um, I'm in a different environment, so um, it's really difficult to shuffle on top of this tablecloth. So I have to put something hard here so I can shuffle on top of it. So let me see what's in store for you. Love, relationships, and romance. Sagittarius. September You have a lot of major arcana cards in this spread alone. And I'm going to do re reversals this time. It just makes it a little bit easier for me. I'm seeing for many of you, work and your career um, and even your financial situation is like really blocking your progress when it comes to dating. So that could physically mean that you feel like you don't have the, the money to go out and, you know, just um, spending money frivolously on dates, on outing and things like that. Uh, dating doesn't always have to be expensive. It can get that way because, you know, there's another person involved in the activities that you're doing but it doesn't always have to be that way and so finding you know cheap alternative uh, things to do when it comes to date uh, to to going on a date doing hiking going to the beach driving somewhere you know as long as um, you're cautious about that and also as long as you're conscious that there are other ways for you to invite another person into your life without spending an exorbitant amount of money. So I, I feel like some of you are physically struggling with your financial situation and money is like either a major source of contention between you and your partner. Where's the money going? How are we spending money? One person might be very extravagant and the other person might be, you know, kind of like the, the might want to tighten the purse strings. So that's what I feel coming through. And then for others of you, you're heavily, heavily focused on your work and your career sector. It's like you're, you're busy working all the time and you don't even have time to entertain the thought of dating or you don't even have the time to, you know, re um, to connect with your, your dating partner or your romantic partner. So first of all, let me talk about the financial situation. It's shown up in three cards. So we have here the seven of coins. And the seven of coins is basically, um, it's a work card. This is also when, you know, when we see two people um, having like a common ground, having common like goals, having common purposes in life. They want the same things out of life and they feel like they're the right fit and they're willing to work together to build a future together. I feel for some of you, this is a situation where, you know, um, the two of you cannot agree, and I feel like this is for coupled people, you cannot agree on where to allocate money. You have disagreements over a financial, you know, situation. There might even be financial entanglements between like one partner and an ex, and they're trying to move on and, you know, you're trying to date, or it could be you or your partner, where there's still financial discussions, financial, um, unresolved financial situation with an ex that's really interfering in your current relationship and I have as well the temperance card this is your card in the major arcana and basically what it means is doing things in a very um, slow methodical manner and not rushing not jumping to conclusions not you know um, letting your temper getting the best of you be very very patient be very um, I want to say like be very just just slow down this month because I feel like these tensions especially financial tensions are going to escalate you don't want it to get the best of you okay and also 
be careful when it comes over overall to your spending. I feel like many of you need to keep a rein, need to keep like a, a clear budget, especially when it comes to your spending. In the past, what I have here is the two of coins. I'm going to steer away, first of all, from the financial situation and talk about this. This is a card about, you know, somebody juggling two options, having multiple people on the table, um, having multiple options on the table, and, you know, like, I also feel like you might have been dealing, you might have been dealing with this person where they had, you know, they had you and they had another person on the side. And I also feel like this was a situation that some of you might have inkling about. You might have known about it, okay? With the Seven of Cups here. And um, I feel for many of you, you were the third party and you knew about it. And you, you might have thought, oh, I wonder if that person is going to leave their significant other to be with me. And then for others, I feel like you might be like, you know, either the wife, the, the, the wife or the husband. And then I feel like the other person, you, you might have found out about it because I feel like when it's in the reverse position, it's like the reality sinking in, right? Like you, you knew that that's what it was. And so because of that, this person is now showing up in the past position. And um, for some of you, it might have been an earth sign. So a Taurus, a Virgo, or a um, Capricorn. And what we have here is information coming to light. The truth being revealed. And I feel that's, that the truth was there in the past. It's like... I, I don't feel like this is news to you. I don't feel like this is something that, you know, all of a sudden you stumbled upon certain information. I feel like you hung on to that relationship, hoping things would get better, hoping things would turn around the way that you want. And the truth of the matter is, I feel like a lot of people have broken off relationships during that um, eclipse that we had, you know, back in the um, last month in August. It's a major, major eclipse, especially happening in a retrograde, um, Mercury retrograde cycle. So I feel like a lot of information came to light. And with new information, especially because, you know, you, you are somebody that really pride yourself on honesty and you care about honesty in other people. I feel like you've had to let that person go, okay? It was kind of like the point of no return. This is not acceptable. And I feel like many of you have broken up with a relationship partner mainly because either because of financial struggles or because there was that, you know, double act. They were juggling two people. They had multiple options on their on their plate. So I feel many of you are coming into this month single. And the foundation is something that you know to be true. I have here the magician. This might have been the person that you were interacting with as well. What we have here is somebody who is very, very extravagant, okay? They're generally very intelligent, really, really smart, um, very exciting to talk to, very exciting to be with, and it seems almost like they're the life of the party. When it shows up in the reverse, it's kind of like what you see is not always what you get. They might talk a big game, but when it comes to following through, when it comes to like, you know, um, kind of like their words do not match up with their actions. So they might just be a talker and not a doer. It's linked up here with the King of Swords in the reverse. So I feel like some of you might in be involved here with this air sign. And this air sign might be the one that, you know, is either like um, spending money very, very extravagantly or talking a big game and not being able to deliver it when, when it matters. So this is an Aquarius, a Gemini or a Libra that you're, you were dealing with. And for some of you too, I feel like this is somebody that um, might have, <clears throat> you might still be financially linked up with, like an ex. And uh, you're trying to move on with your life, but there's still a lot of, you know, a lot of blockages when it comes to extracting yourself from this person. And then for others, this might just be that juggler that you were, you know, they, they, they kind of like created this pipe dream scenario for you. And then when things, when it matters, they're not able to deliver and they're not able to tell you the truth about it. They're not being truthful and honest with you. So moving into the future position, 
we have here the hangman and the five of coins. If you are financially still linked up with, you know, people from your past that you're trying to extract yourself from, there is still going to be a little bit of a hang up. Okay. And then for others of you, if you are no longer investing yourself in a relationship, for example, if it's a marriage and you're seeking divorce, you're seeking, um, you're seeking like legal counsel to figure out like, what's the best option for me? I feel like there are a lot of financial considerations that you're, you're it's like you're looking through the numbers, you're looking at the books and you're trying to figure out, is it financially feasible for me to leave this person? Um, are my assets covered? Will I be able to recover the assets? Will we be able to split things 50-50? So I feel like there are a lot of financial decisions riding upon um, a decision of whether or not you stay in a relationship or whether or not you leave. So my advice here is there seem to be some duplicitous um, people that you're dealing with and staying in that situation doesn't look good. Okay, For those of you who are single, I feel that you are heavily immersed in work. I also feel that you are um, like either, it just feels to me like you're using work as well as a distraction. So people might ask you, why aren't you dating? And you, you're just like, oh, you know, um, work is too much or I'm so busy all the time. And I feel that, yes, you are. But w as humans, whenever something is important to us, we always prioritize it. That's just our natural inclination. So I feel that you need to, you know, get out and about and start feeling uh, attractive again, start feeling lovable again. This is kind of like being stuck in a cave. You have offers coming in, you know, people are just like reaching out to you from inside that cave. Um, you're inside the cave, they're reaching out to you and they're like, hey, Let's do this tonight. Let's do that. I have a party. You want to go to it. So you have so invitations. You have people soliciting you. But And I feel like this is also in friendship as well. And, you know, you need to be in a place where you can be seen, where you can be heard in order for you to make new connections with other people. So I feel some of you are resisting dating. And then others, I feel like, have just gotten out of a relationship. And you feel like, I'm going to work on myself. I'm going to, you know, make sure that I am healthy, that I am emotionally stable, that I am emotionally at a point where I can give myself to another person. So there's a lot of hesitations from your end about dating, especially if you are single for this, um, this month, Sagittarius. But I do feel, for many of you, you're dealing with somebody that really hurt you. And I feel like a lot of it stems from deception like somebody being duplicitous somebody being it's like they 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 moved you along and you thought things were going to go a specific way and then at the last minute it's like very very unexpected like a 180 turn and i feel as if some of you you, you had like you know warning signs that this was going to happen and I feel like you hung on to it, hoping things would get better. But I do feel the person that you're dealing with here, the magician in the, in the reverse, what you see is not what you get. The king of swords in the reverse, very, very intelligent um, partner. But I feel like they have trouble being honest and being truthful. Okay? Um, I am sorry, Sagittarius. Um, I hope not a lot of you are dealing with this, but I feel like, especially if you're single, you know, if you've just broken up and you're single right now, take your time. But for others who have been single for a while, I feel like you have a few invitations, especially from friends. So, you know, put yourself in situations where you can interact with more people, where you can get out and about, okay? So don't hide away in your cave, okay? So I wish um, you the best. I hope the reading has been helpful for you guys. And I'll also be back for the mid-month reading, okay? Take care of yourself, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.